And, ooh, there's a bumblebee. At any rate, uh Hey guys, so I have been wanting to try some of the super line on an ultralight, see if I can get get a little uh, more casting distance. There's a couple of places that I go where if I could just get 10-15 more feet I would be in the strike zone, but I've never never used a, a super braid on a ultralight, and I've probably got a dozen ultralights, but most of them are not set up for braid and I have seen people say you can take tape and and wrap around the spool but I I bought a vintage reel that that had been done to I went to take the braid off and the spool just completely fell apart in my hands the the braid cut through it didn't just create a groove it cut through the tape and the spool completely in half so I'm not willing to try that on any of my reels, so I wanted to get something new, a uh, braid ready. I got on Tackle Warehouse looking to see what was new for this year. Nothing really jumped out at me, and ooh, there's a bumblebee. At any rate, um, nothing really jumped out at me. I've never bought anything from Cast King, but I follow their social media because they post cool stuff sometimes. But I just happened to be scrolling through Instagram and they were advertising this new Zephyr SFX. And this is what caught my eye. It's really bright and I can't see the screen very well. I hope you can see that. Shallow spool. You never see these anymore. If you find them, they're from the Japanese market, which is awesome because they make really great stuff, but they come with a pretty hefty price. And I'm not willing to spend two, three hundred dollars on something I'm going to use to chase panfish with. So, shallow spool. Now, I, I really love ultralight fishing, and this doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough that it's aggravating. I'll go to cast out and way more line will come off the spool than is supposed to and you get a bird's nest. So I think I've got too much line on there. I remove some and then the castability sucks. And I, I thought maybe it's the line. I changed the line out for a different brand. Maybe it's the reel. Maybe it's me. Have somebody else cast and it works fine for a while and then it does the same thing to them. So. Mitchell back in the day, I'm, I'm a huge collector of all things vintage fishing wise, but Mitchell back in the day, you bought one of their reels, you got three spools, a large, medium, and small, which is basically deep, medium, and shallow. And my little, this is for my 300, but my 308 came with a, a large spool like this, which is deep, way more line than you need on an ultralight. And I thought maybe that's the issue. So I got on eBay, bought a shallow spool. I've been using that, that reel with that spool for probably a year, a year and a half. And I have not had that issue anymore. So maybe it's just me, but I think a shallow spool is a much better idea for an ultralight. You don't need that much, la much line on a ultralight anyway. And the, the casting is better for me with a shallow spool. So when I saw this, I really, really wanted to try it. All right, I'm having issues with this bumblebee, but I'm back. Um, I wanted to try it, but I've never used Cast King, and I don't mean to be a snob, but I usually go for brands that have been around longer than I have, because I know if you stay in business that long, then then you're not making junk. It, it's built to last, so. I never used these, never used anything of their brand. Went to YouTube. I don't like looking reviews up online because they're like, well, it just came in the mail, can't wait to use it. Or I bought it for a friend and he was really appreciative. That's not a review, guys. That's like a Facebook post at most. So that's not real helpful. So I go to YouTube for, for my reviews and this is so new that nobody, I think 
RAR fishing posted a video yesterday, but at the time nobody had made any videos using this, so I looked at the specs. It's a carbon fiber body, carbon fiber reel seat. It's an aluminum spool, it's machined, and I really like the way they did this. They made it, they ported it, so that really cuts down on the weight. It's like, I think it's 6.7 ounces. I mean, it's like nothing, which is good for me because with my back the way it is, I fatigue real fast. So I really like the way they did that. Now, if you are somebody that doesn't clean your reels often, that may be an issue for you because dust can get in there but that's that's not a huge issue for me because I'm pretty good at maintaining my reels and it's carbon fiber rather than the cheap graphite so they they spent a little extra money building it a little better and all the gears are metal and usually when I show you guys a reel I take it all apart and show you the insides but I don't know if it's the way the reel is made, I could not get the screws off. It, they're, they're so tight, I think if I go any harder, they're going to strip. So, I don't know if that's how it's made or if it's my hands because of my neuropathy. Maybe I just wasn't getting a good enough grip. But hopefully if somebody, one of the, the big Casking fans that has all their stuff sees this video, maybe they'll let us know in the description. But... I read their their uh, little booklet, and it comes in a box rather than the cheap plastic. So that comes nice. in a box. It comes with a, a little sticker, and this is nice. It comes with with these little stickers that you can put on the on the reel foot to let you know what what line and what date you put the line on. But I read through their their little manual, and it does not say on here how to access the gearbox. It says you need to to maintain the line roller, the bale, remove the spool, service that, remove the handle, service that that port in there. It doesn't say anything about even touching the, the gears, which I usually service the gears and it doesn't mention that. So I don't know if they made it that way. They're those screws are really tight to prevent any dust from getting in there or if it's just my hands but either way I can't access that to show you because I'm afraid I'll end up stripping those screws and <clears throat> you know like right out of the box it I expected at this price point to be kind of cheaper filling but it feels like a more high-end reel and it's super smooth I mean, I haven't, take it with a grain of salt, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, and we're fixing to go use it, but out of the box, I mean, that it feels as smooth or smoother than most of the, of the reels I've used, and I've, I've been fishing for over three decades, so, I mean, it, it feels really nice, it feels really well balanced, I think I'm gonna like it, the only thing I noticed that it, and it's got seven, point, 7 plus 1 bearings, which is probably why it's so smooth. It, it only comes in the 1,000 size, which it's, it's designed to be an ultralight finesse reel, so that's really all you need. Um, instant anti-reverse. That's really tight. That's, <clears throat> that's nice. And now I forget what I was saying. Um... Oh, the only thing that I see out of the box that I would change, and like probably 95% of the, the modern reels that I have are like this, but the little cap here that screws your, your handle on feels like a little cheaper plastic than the rest of the, of the body. I would, it would be nice if like all the companies would start making those a little heavier duty, which it's not a huge deal. I've never had an issue with with those on on any other brands that feel the same quality, but like a confidence thing, I guess. But it's I think it's going to be a pretty 
pretty nice reel to use. It seems like it's priced way under what it should be. And the, the rod, I had intended on buying a carrot stick because I, I have a casting rod by carrot stick with the microwave guides and I love it. It's like one of my favorite rods to use. But they're like 160 bucks. <clears throat> I got mine on sale at the farm store for like 25 or 35 bucks. And when I went back to get more, they were out. But <clears throat> I got on Cast King's website to see if they had a cheap one just to play around with. And they actually have one with the microwave guides. And it's IM7. It's super lightweight. I got the... But the bad thing about doing this in the front yard is motorcycle just keeps driving by. But I got the six foot ultralight moderate fast resolute and i mean for the price of this it's got the microwave guides it's im7 it's got the um, american tackle reel seat and i don't i think they call it shark skin but it's like comparable to lose wind grips i mean they didn't it doesn't appear that they spared any expenses making this but like the reel it's like half the price of what it should be half the price of what other other places charge so i don't know i've never i've never used this brand so it seems like it'll it'll be a pretty good setup but we'll we'll see once we get out on the water and i'm going to spool this up with the fireline ultra 8 and I, I noticed right after I bought this that Gas King actually produces their own finesse style braid. So I'm not going to be all matchy matchy with everything Gas King, but I really don't think the fish are going to mind that. So we've got the, the Zephyr SFX or SFS spin finesse system. We've got that on the, uh, the Gas King Resolute ultralight rod and paired I've already mounted it and it's I mean it's like weightless <clears throat> so I you know on paper it seems like it would make a really good setup it's very well balanced it, it feels like nothing in your hand gonna test the uh, the ultra 8 carrier out I've never used that either so that's enough talking I'm going to get this spooled up. i got to run to town real quick, and then I will meet you out on the water. Alright, guys. Well, I did not realize that I had ran off at the mouth for so long, which I have a tendency to do. So, what we're going to do, instead of making a horrendously long video, we're going to post this uh, tabletop review today, and then tomorrow I'll post the actual in-use review. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure your notifications are set to where you'll get notified when I post that. It will be sometime tomorrow, and I will see you then.